Arab Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Styles Features Diet and Foods Bedouin Kitchen Types Styles Types Features Headwear Culture Clothing Theory Kaleoi Genres Art Music Folk Maghrib Language Levant Prose Structure of Meals Islamic Poetry Breakfast Genres Forms Arabic prosody Concepts Texts Lunch Fictional Arab people Dinner North Arabian deities Architecture of ancient Yemen, Nabataean architecture, Umayyad architecture, Abbasid architecture, Fatimid architecture, Moorish architecture, Mamluk architecture South Arabian deities Arab cuisine is the cuisine of the Arabs, defined as the various regional cuisines spanning the Arab world, from the Maghrib to the Fertile Crescent and the Arabian Peninsula. The cuisines are often centuries old and reflect the culture of great trading in spices, herbs, and foods. The three main regions, also known as the Maghrib, the Fertile Crescent, and the Arabian Peninsula have many similarities, but also many unique traditions. These kitchens have been influenced by the climate, cultivating possibilities, as well as trading possibilities. The kitchens of the Maghrib and Levant are relatively young kitchens that were developed over the past centuries. The kitchen from the Kaleoi region is a very old kitchen. The kitchens can be divided into the urban and rural kitchens. Ablok, Hypostyle, Mishrabia, Ewan, Lewan, Rewake, Kadad, Moroccan Riyadh, San, Tadlacht, Vaulting, Vusoir, Multifoil Arch, Horseshoe Arch, Arabic Dome, Alfais, Arabesque, Banai, Giri, Islamic Calligraphy, Islamic Geometric Patterns, Islamic Interlace Patterns, Mokarab, Mukarnas, Nagash Painting, Sokara, Yesaria, Zelaj, Reflecting Pool, House, Mosaic, Windcatcher, Gardens. The Arab cuisine uses specific and sometimes unique foods and spices. Some of those foods are Desserts and Ramadan Meals Iftar Sahur Regional Arab Cuisines The Bedouins of the Arabian Peninsula, Middle East and North Africa relied on a diet of dates, dried fruit, nuts, wheat, barley, rice, and meat. The meat came from large animals such as cows, sheep, and lambs. They also ate dairy products, milk, cheese, yogurt, buttermilk. The Bedouins would also use many different dried beans including white beans, lentils, and chickpeas. Vegetables that were used a lot among the Bedouins are variants that could be dried, such as pumpkins, but also vegetables that are more heat-resistant, such as aubergines. They would drink a lot of fresh verbena tea, Arabic tea, macrobe mint tea or Arabic coffee. A daily break to freshen up with drinks is a much-loved tradition. The bread that is eaten a lot is called cobs as well in the Kaleoi as in the Maghrib regions. Dishes such as marka, stews, tagines were prepared traditionally among the Bedouins. 
Breakfast existed of baked beans, bread, nuts, dried fruits, milk, yogurt, and cheese and tea or coffee. Snacks included nuts and dried fruits. Madrasa, Makam, Mazar, Mosque, Takai, Zawaya, Sabil, Shad Irvan, Bazaar, Caravansarai, Dar al Shifa, Kasbah, Medina Quarter, Sukh, Hammam, Well House, Al Barana Tower, Al Kazaba, Al Khazar, Bab, Kalat, Rubat. Essential to any cooking in the Arab world is the concept of hospitality and generosity. Meals are generally large family affairs, with much sharing and a great deal of warmth over the dinner table. Formal dinners and celebrations generally involve large quantities of lamb, and every occasion entails large quantities of Arabic coffee or Arabic tea. Coffee Ceremony in the Kalayoi region, a visitor is greeted by a great table of dried fruits, fresh fruits, nuts, and cakes with syrup. Dried fruits include figs, dates, apricots, and plums. Fresh fruits include citruses, melons, and pomegranate. Arabic coffee is served the most, but Arabic tea is also a great refresher. Spices are often added in the coffee or other drinks. Dinner guests, in the Kalayoi region, a visitor might expect a dinner consisting of a very large platter, shared commonly, with a vast amount of spiced rice, incorporating cooked spicy lamb or chicken, or both, as separate dishes, with various stewed vegetables, heavily spiced sometimes with a tomato-based sauce. Different types of bread are served with different toppings specific to the region. Tea would certainly accompany the meal, as it is almost constantly consumed. Coffee would be included in the same manner. Art of Ancient Yemen, Nabataean Art, Umayyad Art, Abbasid Art, Moorish Art, Fatimid Art, Mamluk Art. Tea slash coffee ceremony. In the Maghrebi region, a visitor might expect a table full of bread like snacks, including misemin, bakrar, and other stuffed breads. These are served with honey, rose water, or olive oil. There are also many different cookies and cakes included, accompanied by plates with different kinds of nuts. Arabic coffee and mint tea is often served with it in a traditional Maghrebian teapot. Dinner guests, in the Maghrebi region, a visitor might expect a table with different kinds of stews, also called markas or tagines. Dishes such as couscous or other semolina-based dishes are much appreciated as well. These main dishes are accompanied by smaller mezzi-like plates with salads, sauces and dips. Breads such as misemin and cobs are used to eat the stews. Coffee-slash-tea ceremony In an average Arab Levantian household, a visitor might expect a table full of mezzis, breads topped with spices including zayatar and nuts. In the Levant region, Arabic coffee is a much-loved beverage but Arabic tea is also much loved in Jordan and Palestine. Arabian Peninsula Dinner guests, in the Levantian region, a visitor might expect a table with different kinds of mezzis, nuts, dips, and oils. Mezzis include hummus, baba ganache, falafel, kibet, kafta, smoked vegetables, and tabouli salads. The nuts can differ from almonds to walnuts, with different spice coatings. The DIPs and oils include hummus and olive oil. There are many regional differences in the Arab cuisine. For instance, Muyadara in Syria and Lebanon is different from Muyadara in Jordan and Palestine. Some dishes, such as mansuf, are native to certain countries and rarely if ever, 
make an appearance in other countries. Unlike in most Western cuisines, cinnamon is used in meat dishes, as well as in sweets such as baklava. Dishes including tagine and couscous can differ from Morocco to Libya, with their unique preparations. Other dishes, such as the Arabo Andalusian Bastilla or Albandigas, have different traditional spice mixes and fillings in the Maghreb region. There are two basic structures for meals in the Arab world, one regular and one specific for the month of Ramadan. Yemen The Fertile Crescent, Mashriq Levant, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Jordan Cafés often serve croissants for breakfast. Breakfast is often a quick meal consisting of bread and dairy products, with tea, and sometimes jam. The most used is labna and cream. Lunch is considered the main meal of the day, and is traditionally eaten between 1.30 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. It is the meal for which the family comes together, and when entertaining, it is the meal of choice to invite guests to. Rarely do meals have different courses, However, salads and mezzi are served as side dishes to the main meal. The platter usually consists of a portion of meat, poultry, or fish, a portion of rice, lentils, bread, and a portion of cooked vegetables, in addition to the fresh ones with the mezzi and salad. The vegetables and meat are usually cooked together in a sauce to make marak, which is served on rice. Most households add bread, whether other grains were available or not. Drinks are not necessarily served with the food, however, there is a very wide variety of drinks such as Shanina, Karakadan, Naki Al Zabib, Ir Qusus, Tamar Hindi, and fruit juice, as well as other traditional Arab drinks. During the 20th century, carbonated soda and fruit-based drinks, sold by supermarkets, have also become very popular. Dinner is traditionally the lightest meal, although in modern times, and due to changing lifestyles, dinner has become more important. In addition to the two meals mentioned hereafter, sweets are consumed much more than usual during the month of Ramadan. Sweets and fresh fruits are served between these two meals. Although most sweets are made all year round such as kanafi, baklava, and basbauza, some are made especially for Ramadan, such as kataf. Iftar, or fast breaking, is the meal taken at dusk when the fast is over. The meal consists of three courses, first, they shall eat a date based on Islamic tradition. This is followed by a soup or anything they would like, the most popular being lentil soup, but a wide variety of soups such as chicken, oats, frika, potato, mosh, and others are also offered. The third course is the main dish, usually eaten after an interval, when maghrib prayer is conducted. The main dish is mostly similar to lunch except that cold drinks are also served. Iraq Suhar is the meal eaten just before dawn, when fasting must begin. It is eaten to help the person make it through the day with enough energy until Maghrib time. The cuisine of Eastern Arabia today is the result of a combination of diverse cuisines, incorporating Levantine and Yemeni cuisines. Bukhari rice is a dish eaten in the Hejaz, Saudi Arabia. It is a rice with spicy tomato sauce, flavored chicken, and a fresh salad. It is a much eaten dish in the Hejaz district of Saudi Arabia. The cuisine of Yemen is rather distinct from other Arab cuisines. Like most other Arab cuisines, chicken, goat, and lamb are eaten more often than beef. Fish is eaten mostly in coastal areas. However, unlike most Arab countries, cheese, butter, and other dairy products are less common, 
especially in the cities and other urban areas. As with other Arab cuisines, the most widespread beverages are tea and coffee, tea is usually flavored with cardamom, clove, or mint, and coffee with cardamom. Karakadan, Naki al Zabib, and Deba A are the most widespread cold beverages. Although each region has their own variation, Salta is considered the national dish of Yemen. The base is a brown meat is called marak, a dollop of fenugreek froth, and sahawak or sahauka. Levantine cuisine is the traditional cuisine of the Fertile Crescent. Although now divided into Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, Egypt, and Palestine, the region has historically been more united, and shares most of the same culinary traditions. Although almost identical, there is some regional variation within the Levantine area. Dishes include olive oil, za adder, and garlic, and common dishes include a wide array of mezzi or bread dips, stuffings, and side dishes such as hummus, falafel, full, tabouli, labana, and baba ganesh. It also includes copious amounts of garlic and olive oil, often seasoned with lemon juice almost no meal goes by without including these ingredients. Most often foods are either grilled, baked, fried, or sautéed in olive oil, butter and cream are rarely used, other than in a few desserts. Vegetables are often eaten raw or pickled, as well as cooked. While the cuisine does not boast a multitude of sauces, it focuses on herbs, spices, and the freshness of ingredients. In Palestine and Jordan, the population has a cooking style of their own, involved in roasting various meats, baking flat breads, and cooking thick yogurt-like pastes from goat's milk. Moussakan is a common main dish, famous in northern Jordan, the city of Jerusalem, and northern West Bank. The main component is tabun bread, which is topped with pieces of cooked sweet onions, shumac, saffron, and allspice. For large dinners, it can be topped by one or two roasted chickens on a single large tabun bread. The primary cheese of the Palestinian mezzi is akai cheese, which is a semi-hard cheese with a mild, salty taste and sparsely filled with roasted sesame seeds. It is primarily used in Kinefa, Egypt. Maghreb 2 Maklaba is another popular meal in Jordan and central Palestine. Mujidara, another food of the West Bank, as well as in the Levant in general, consists of cooked green lentils, with bulgur sautéed in olive oil. Mansaf is a traditional meal and the national dish of Jordan, having roots in the Bedouin population of the country. It is mostly cooked on special occasions such as Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, a birth, or a large dinner gathering. Mansaf is a leg of lamb or large pieces of mutton, on top of a markup bread that has been topped with yellow rice. A type of thick dried yogurt made from goat's milk, called jamied, is poured on top of the lamb and rice to give it its distinct flavor and taste. The dish is garnished with cooked pine nuts and almonds. Libya Levantine cuisine is also famous for its wide range of cheeses, including shanklish, halum, and arishat. Kishk is also a famous Syrian soup, alongside many soups made of lentils. Lebanese food also has a wide range of DIPs including hummus, baba ganouche, and labna, and also caters many raw meat dishes. Syrian food could be either extremely vegetarian or a meat lover's paradise. Lemon, oregano, za adder, paprika, and various other Mediterranean spices and herbs are used in Syrian cuisine. To top it off, Tunisia Algeria 
Morocco. Main dishes Breads and pancakes Moroccan spice mixes Sweets and pastries Sudan Dishes Gallery Levantine cuisine also incorporates wines made in Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Palestine and the Levantine equivalent of the Greek ouzo, known as Iraq. Iraq is where the first cookbook was ever recorded in history, historically in Baghdad and Mesopotamia. Iraq is one of the oil-rich Arab countries surrounding the Persian Gulf and is also part of the Levant and Mashriq sharing similarities in cooking and cuisines between both the surrounding regions of the Arab world. Iraqi cuisine mainly consists of meat, rather than appetizers. In Iraqi cuisine, the most common meats are chicken and lamb. The national dish of Iraq is the masguf fish usually enjoyed with grilled tomatoes and onions. Iraqi cuisine uses more spices than most Arab cuisines. Iraq's main food crops include wheat, barley, rice, vegetables, and dates. Vegetables include eggplant, okra, potatoes, and tomatoes. Pulses such as chickpeas and lentils are also quite common. Common meats in Iraqi cooking are lamb and beef. Fish and poultry are also used. Soups and stews are often prepared and served with rice and vegetables. Biryani, although influenced by Indian cuisine, is milder with a different mixture of spices, and a wider variety of vegetables, including potatoes, peas, carrots, and onions. Dolma is also one of the most popular dishes. The Iraqi cuisine is famous for its extremely tender kebab, as well as its tikka. A wide variety of spices, pickles, and amba are also extensively used. Egypt has a very rich cuisine with many unique customs. These customs also vary within Egypt itself, for example, in the coastal areas, like the coast of the Mediterranean Sea and Canal the diet relies heavily on fish. In the more rural areas, reliance on farm products is much heavier. Duck, geese, chicken, and river fish are the main animal protein sources. While Egyptians eat a lot of meat, Egyptian cuisine is rich in vegetarian dishes, three national dishes of Egypt, full metamis, tamia, and kishari, are generally vegetarian. Fruits are also greatly appreciated in Egypt, mangoes, grapes, bananas, apples, sycamore, guavas, and peaches are very popular, especially because they are all domestically produced and are available at relatively low prices. The most famous dessert from Egypt is called Om Ali, which is similar to a bread and butter pudding made traditionally with puff pastry, milk, and nuts. It is served all across the Middle East and is also made on special occasions such as Eid. Bread is a staple in Egypt, the most common breads are Eshbaladi and Eshmararat. Maghreb cuisine is the cooking of the Maghreb region, the northwesternmost part of Arab world along the Mediterranean Sea, consisting of the countries of Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. Libyan cuisine derives much from the traditions of Maghreb and Mediterranean cuisines. One of the most popular Libyan dishes is bazan, an unleavened bread prepared with barley, water, and salt. Bazan is prepared by boiling barley flour in water and then beating it to create a dough using a magraf, which is a unique stick designed for this purpose. Pork consumption is forbidden in accordance with Sharia, the religious laws of Islam. Tripoli is Libya's capital, and the cuisine is particularly influenced by Italian cuisine. Pasta is common, and many seafood dishes are available. Southern Libyan cuisine is more traditionally Arab and Berber. 
Common fruits and vegetables include figs, dates, oranges, apricots, and olives. Libyan kitchen also includes hot spices, like Tunisia. Bazan Libyan bread, psissa, couscous, harissa, hassat, lebrik filled grape leaves with rice and minced meat, Libyan buriak, Libyan summer salad, marka, or tagine, madroba, mbatan, mbikka a unique Libyan soup with pasta or spaghetti. Instead of the European way of boiling pasta or spaghetti in water and then throwing the water away, the Libyans boil pasta with the sauce, which adds a real pasta flavor to the sauce. You can make it with any type of pasta, and the simplest dish involves frying onions in oil, throwing in the tomato puree, chili powder, turmeric, then adding water and salt and leave to boil, before adding the pasta. But the proper way to do it is to add some lamb chops, chickpeas, and garlic to the sauce. Serve hot with a sprinkle of extra virgin olive oil, lemon, fresh chili, and crusty bread. One can also add other vegetables such as pumpkin, potato, and green pepper, malauba, shukshauka, sherba, uspan, zumata and asida. Desserts and beverages includes, makraud, Libyan tea, goraba, makraun, mafrika and malbaya. In comparison to its Maghreb and Levantine neighbors, the cuisine of Sudan tends to be generous with spices. The Sudanese cuisine has a rich variety in ingredients and creativity. Simple everyday vegetables are used to create stews and omelets that are healthy yet nutritious, and full of energy and flair. These stews are called mola. One could have a zucchini mola spinach rigla mola, etc. Sudanese food inspired the origins of Egyptian cuisine and Ethiopian cuisine, both of which are very popular in the Western world. Popular dishes include full metamis, shahan full, hummus, bamaya, and gareza, as well as different types of salads and sweets. Lom Biajin Manakaj Kabsa Kebet Matboha Baba Ganesh Hummus Warakinab Labna Kaike Coffee Hibiscus tea Halva Kataf Shishduk Tuum Falafel Klicha Arabic calligraphy, Arabic miniature, Arabic pottery, Arabic embroidery, Arabic hardstone carving, Arabic ivory carving, Arabic metalwork, Palestinian wood carving, Arabic garden, Arabic glass, Arab carpet, Arabic graffiti, Arabic geometric patterns. Arabic interlace patterns, Arabesque, Giri tiles, Pseudo Arabic, Damask, Kiswa, Banai, Zelich, Mokarabe, Mukarnas, Damascus steel, Hedwig glass, Kafia, Agal, Takiya, Tarbush, Turban, Litham, Tontur, Batoula, Madhala, Hike. Thob, Bisht, Jalabiya, Abaya, Bedla, Sirwal, Kaftan, Jalaba, Tachita, Bernus, Izar, Futatawal, Makawis, Robe of Honor, Dura'a, Tiraz. Arabic Makam, Arab Tone System, Rhythm in Arabian Music, Taksim, Jins, Lazma, Teslim, Quarter tone, Algerian scale, Arabic musical instruments, Arabic music theorists, Great Book of Music, Arabic pop, Arabic hip hop, Arabic rock, Arabic jazz, 
classical Arab music, opera, Algeel, Kulji, Rai. Taksim, Andalusian classical music, Muwash Shah, Andalusi Nuba, Malhun, Kudud Hilabia, Makam Ali Raki, Kasida, Tulab, Samai, Bashraf, Tamila, Dor, Layali, Mawal, Wasla. Ataba, Zajal, Mawal, Fijri, Chabi, Chabi, Nawa, Mezwed, Baladi, Shabi, Rai, Fan at Tanbura, Samri, Bedouin, Liwa, Sot. Old, Classical, Modern. Epic Literature, Saj, Makama, Love in Arabic Literature. Arabic erotic literature, Arabic grimoires, literary criticism, Arabic short story, Tabakat, Tezkair, Rilla, Mirrors for Princes, Quran, Tafsir, Hadith, Sra, Fiqh, Akada. Anthologies, Poets, Madaya, Hija, Rith, Waf, Ghazal, Kamriya, Tardiya, Kawal, Fakr, Hamasa. Diwan, Kasida, Muwashsha, Urjaza, Mathnawi, Rubai, Nasib, Riddles, Karja, Zajal, Mawal, Nabadi, Ginawa, Humani, Modern Arabic Poetry. Bite, All, Mad, Ba, Camel, Ofer, Hezaj, Rajaz, Ramel, Munsari, Kaf, Muktab, Mujtath, Muri, Sar, Mutakrib, Mutadrik. Alakla al Fal, Akalbai al Fiel, Alinsn al Kamil, Dhudi, Peace, Arcs of Descent and Ascent, Asabiya, Hal, Ifran, Nafs, Qadar, Kalb, Wadat al Majud. Liberta Causes, The Theology of Aristotle, Al Ashura, The Book of the Apple, Encyclopedia of the Brethren of Purity, The Incoherence of the Philosophers, The Incoherence of the Incoherence, Hai ibn Yaqdan, Theologus Autodidactus, On the Harmony of Religions and Philosophy, Mukadima, Sicilian Questions, Fusiz al Hikam. Raz al Ghul, Aladdin, Sinbad, Abdul al Hazred, Ali Baba, Badul Ghazi, Hayi ibn Yaqdan, Al Tyr ibn Lahad, Othello, Princess Jasmine, Layla and Majanun, King Marsil, Kara ben Nemzi, Palamedes, Talia al Ghul. Alua, Al Lat, Mant, Dushara, Jabu, Manaf, Nuha, Al Kutbe, Asura, Awal, Azizos, Bajir, Kuza, Mant, Mant, Ara, Abgal, Aglibal, Ala, Alkam, Adarsumain, Baal Shaman, Bl, Hubal, Suwa, Theandrios, Wad, Malakbal, Oritaut, Ruta, Sad, Yarayibal, Isf and Na with Makron Isla. Al Maka, Am, Ambi, Athtar, Salman, Datbadan, Habas, Talab, Kanis, Basimum, Dhul Kalasa, Haukim, Nasr, Sn, Yuk, Yakth, Yatha. Meat, lamb and chicken are the most used, with beef, goat. Other poultry is used in some regions, and fish is used in coastal areas including the Mediterranean Sea, Atlantic Ocean, or the Red Sea. Pork is completely prohibited for Muslim Arabs, being both a cultural and religious taboo and prohibited under Islamic law, 
whereas many Christian Arabs do eat and enjoy pork products, especially in Lebanon and Egypt, where cold cuts of ham are frequently consumed in Christian neighborhoods. Dairy products, dairy products are widely used, especially yogurt, buttermilk and white cheese. Butter and cream are also used extensively, herbs and spices, the amounts and types used generally varies from region to region. Some of the included herbs and spices are sesame, saffron, black pepper, allspice, turmeric, garlic, cumin, cinnamon, parsley, coriander, and chumac. Spice mixtures include baharat, rasl hanout, za atar, harissa, beverages. Hot beverages are served more than cold coffee being on the top of the list in the Middle Eastern countries and tea on top of the Maghreb countries. In Jordan, Palestine, Egypt, some part of Syria, Morocco and Algeria tea is much more important as a beverage. Other Arabic drinks include Andalusian horchata and Maghrebi avocado smoothie, grains, rice is the staple and is used for most dishes. Wheat is the main source for bread. Bulgur and semolina are also used extensively, legumes, lentils are widely used in all colors, as well as fava beans, chickpeas, scarlet runner beans, green peas, lupini beans, white beans, and brown beans, vegetables, Arab cuisine favors vegetables such as carrots, eggplant, zucchini, artichokes, okra, onions, and olives. Potatoes are also eaten as vegetables in Arab culture. Fruits Arab cuisine favors fruits such as pomegranate, dates, figs, oranges, citruses, watermelons, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, grapes, peaches, and nectarines. Nuts Almonds, peanuts, pine nuts, pistachios, and walnuts are often included in dishes or eaten as snacks. Greens, parsley, coriander, and mint are popular as seasonings in many dishes, while spinach and mulakaya are used in cooked dishes, dressings and sauces, the most popular. Dressings include various combinations of olive oil, lemon juice, parsley, or garlic as well as tahini. Labana is often seasoned with mint, onion, or garlic, and served as a sauce with various dishes.